Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to my channel my name is Amiro Bob and today here I am in Dentonia Park so today it feels like uh, 13 today so a lot of people are outside chilling and having a good time to be honest it's been a rainy and a little bit windy season and now we are approaching summer summer is in the corner right now waiting for us this park i have i have lots of uh, memories in this park so when i come to toronto this is the first place this is the first park i uh, played here this is a perfect uh, soccer playing ground as you can see so a lot of people they play here as you can see one guy is he's playing soccer alone and this is perfect ground and here here you have guys uh, the baseball playing ground this is a baseball field as you can see it's a baseball field uh, and sometimes uh, people play cricket as well we have the basketball court here as you can see and we have here the table tennis the table tennis court area playing area let me sit somewhere and then i will we're going to talk about a lot of uh, sports venues and sports memories this is a perfect playing ground to be honest let me go i'm gonna sit here it, feel, it feels still uh, 13 but a little bit a little bit uh, windy though uh, today i'm going to tell you all uh, about my story how i start uh, my uh, how i start watching uh, soccer slash football we call it in africa football but here in call, we call it uh, soccer anyways um you know in uh, back times uh, my uncles they used to bring this uh, vhs video home system and they used to watch lots of uh, soccer but that's how i started guys uh, arsenal were uh, brilliant at that time you know i used to watch a lot of uh, games uh, sitting beside them uh, i watched the invisibles the 2003 and 2004 arsenal i, I watched it on vhs my uncles they showed me on vhs the invisible uh, season so i remember those players theory daniel Henry, gilberto silva robert spires Patrick Vieira and, and lots of uh, players and uh, that's how I started watching Arsenal so you know in, in Africa most of the people uh, we watched Premier League and also La Liga but from Premier League you know I like Arsenal a lot uh, the way how they play and it, it, it's, it's fantastic you know one of my uncle uh, I remember he gave me the Fabregas, Francis Fabregas' uh, jersey, number four. My generation team, uh, Francis Fabregas, uh, Samir Nasri, uh, Rosiski, and those old players, and also uh, Eduardo da Silva, he was my best, my favorite player as well. This was my favorite squad. So, yeah, I remember all these uh, players. Today let's talk about uh, my team which which is Arsenal how they are progressing in the Premier League this season was a brilliant season for Arsenal uh, they have a good coach Arteta and uh, uh, we were progressing a lot let's say we were like it's my team I am a fan of Arsenal so you know we were progressing a lot until the end of this until those three matches you know those all three games versus liverpool versus west ham and also versus southampton it's unbelievable losing i mean i i, I feel like we lost all these games you know draw 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 
draw all in this in this game and we were leading the Premier League we were sitting on the top of the, the table the, the Premier League table you know but at the end of the day and now today what can I say we lost all the matches <laughs> three games left and Manchester City is already on the top of the Premier League with one point in uh, one game in a hand and it's unfortunate guys as I told you I Arsenal never been so close so close so close to lift the Premier League trophy there are a lot of memes people are doing right now you know like laughing at Arsenal and a lot of things you know I was it was assume if Arsenal could have succeed we still have a chance still we we have a chance but it's it's so slim you know miracle sh could should happen to to Arsenal to lift this 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 trophy anymore it's it's I guess it's gone for me I mean like after this I don't believe or I don't think uh, Manchester City is gonna lose anymore or lose games anymore because they are they have a good squad they have a beautiful uh, momentum and form and they are leading right now so guys it's unbelievable losing it's unbelievable watching my team after 25 plus years and not having the Premier League still still we're going to uh, go to the uh, the other the next year again expecting the next year this is unbelievable guys unbelievable and I never watched Arsenal like every games like this season you know every single games I watched them but clearly they must the the, the clear opportunity we have a good we have a good squad everyone is young playing good the combination the the masterpiece was there but in the brink of an eye started 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 draw 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 losing draw losing it's amazing guys it's amazing i mean like i felt i'm doing this video because you know this is a lifetime you know tomorrow is not guaranteed so this year was a good opportunity for Arsenal but they messed it up everything and now we have three games left and as I, as I told you and City has one one uh, one game in hands and they have like three more games so God knows if City starts like dropping points and Arsenal must not only it's a must should must and it should and it's must they must win the rest games the remaining games whatsoever I I want them to win all the rest of the three games the remaining games and see the opportunity like the opportunity is slim as I, as I told you but still we could get slim chance you know we shouldn't even deny in not getting that chance so we have to fight until the end of the the, the season but to be honest I'm so so frustrated and I'm so disappointed to be honest like I never seen Arsenal Arsenal were very close very close guys oh my god unbelievable <laughs> we never know about tomorrow the next season you know Chelsea is like uh, building their teams Liverpool are in good shape also uh, Manchester United are also fine and they, they were struggling here and there but they, they are still a good teams so we don't know about tomorrow but at the end of the day we lost all the, the points and now we have to wait for the next season again I guess so I just came today to walk around and uh, feel this uh, good weather to be honest it's been a, a while 
so inshallah i will see you in the next video i just want to share uh, my thoughts about uh, my team my club arsenal and this season was it was a fantastic season but as they say in the start of the beginning of the the, the season they say they want to come back to the champions league competition which they successfully did it now we are back to champions league and i'm so happy that uh, real madrid is in the semi-final already uh, and S sc milan is also in the semi-final so both teams are my best teams inshallah i just want to say one thing comment down below if you think still arsenal can get the premier league trophy and share it, your thoughts and thank you very much i'll see you in the next video inshallah assalamu alaikum bye